All right, so I watched the leader. I picked up a few things. I picked up a few things at the first and second and third corner, so it's a good area to concentrate on. Um, I know generally some areas where I need to adjust my line. I'm going to follow the ghost and let the ghost help uh, guide the way. So my guess is, or my target rather, is about a 136, 137. You can see I'm at a 138. The uh, tail is very happy, uh, a little happy for my taste. Um, I do drive with traction control on. I'm not all that advanced just yet. So I have no idea if I'm on pace for that 137 or not. Obviously, I am light years behind uh, the leader. I can no longer see the ghost. And as predicted, 136, uh, actually a little bit faster, um, I thought it was going to be more like a 137. Uh, turn one, I'm able to keep up with the leader a little more, so maybe I'll even drop down into the 135s. I don't know that I would actually cut that corner that way in a race. Uh, it's a bit sketchy. If I don't get that curb right between, you know, if I don't straddle that curb, the same way uh, and I actually hit it with my wheel uh, that's curtains I like this section because once I do nail it down when I'm smooth, it's just one continuous curve. Um, and a great way to pick up some speed, especially if I'm driving against drivers that don't have that section down packed. So that's an area I'll try to get really good at. So I was nearly a second ahead. Uh, either way, I'll be down in the 135s. So as you can see, I'm not taking the exact line that the leader's taken, and it's just because I don't have the line memorized. But I am driving a line, which is more and more efficient with each lap. I am following similar brake points, uh, but I may not be using the same turning points or uh, speeds, obviously. Not to imply that mine are better, just that they're going to be different. Yeah. Again, not to imply that mine are better. 
So that happened because, um, if you notice the uh, berm on the side, or where most berms are, um, that red paint, that paint doesn't have the same grip that the tarmac does. And the Horicon is pretty tail happy. So I need to uh, work on that. Uh, I was on pace for a low 135 and possibly another record lap. So as long as I can keep it together, I might be able to drop that down again. I'll do a couple laps and then um, hop into a race. about eight tenths faster than my fastest lap. Um, there's, I mean, obviously there's tons of speed left out there that I have yet to find. And really my goal for the end of the week or prediction rather is that I'll actually be closer to a 130, 131, which that means I still have about four seconds left to find. Looks like I found one second, so 1.157 drops me down to 134. All right, so after this lap, I just want a good another, uh, you know, another clean lap like I just had, and then I'll hop into a race. And who knows? Maybe I'll find speed on this lap as well. Judging by my pace, I will not. So I am driving the Lamborghini Huracan 2015 uh, GT3 specifically. I've driven the Porsche 911 on this course and I really like it. Uh, I might switch over um, just because of how tail happy this is. The 911 uh, for me is a bit more planted. It may not even be faster than the Horicon, but I tend to like a bit more traction. All right, so I'm good there. That was a 135, um, actually just uh, nine tenths higher than my fastest speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a race. Uh, so I'm gonna sign out, sign back in.